Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to Douglas Robbins Den of Discussion number 17. What are you plugged into? I say this because what we interact with externally and internally affect our perspective, our beliefs. Um, if we can move forward or not. If we can be and live a life of value or not. So if we're plugged into things that say just waste our time playing games all day on the internet or, or playing games, um, you know, some sort of a video games after work because we're sort of avoiding the struggle to get somewhere. Well, we're plugged into the wrong things because then we stamp our feet and say, oh my goodness, or stomp our feet and say, why aren't we getting where we wanna go? Well, because you're plugged into the wrong things. You're doing the wrong things. That video gaming or nonstop movies, drinking, drugs, whatever it might be, most likely isn't get you where you want to get. Most likely that's what's helping you avoid getting you where you want to go. So are you plugged into friends who are keeping you stuck, who are stuck themselves in a nice safe pattern? Are you stuck? Are you plugged into a nice safe pattern of emotional, um, an emotional cul-de-sac? This is where the rubber meets the road, right? For instance, I don't like book marketing. It's not something I feel like I'm very good at. I don't really like the, the effort I have to put into it. It's, it's a huge morass of confusion and headache for me. Um, but if I just say, well, I don't like it and want the world to deliver it to me, most likely that's not gonna happen. Time's going to keep ticking, and I'm going to be in the same place. So I'm plugged into this idea of, well, I'm not doing it. Want someone to save me. No one's coming to save me. Same rinse and repeat. And so what am I plugged into? Well, I know I have to do more book marketing. Do I want to? No. That, that's, that's, you know, the, the, the saying, hard now, easy later, or easy now, hard later. But the hard later gets much harder as we get older, have more responsibilities, children, family, etc. So if we're plugged into social media nonstop, if we're feeding ourselves bad food nonstop, these are the things we have to stop and really step back from and say, am I plugged into the right things to move myself forward? Nothing is going to happen with a, a snap of the finger. But you can start taking steps forward. There was a great um, story I read about a guy who was severely overweight, uh, was kind of depressed. All he would do for after work is sit on the couch and eat, you know, pizza and, and ice cream and whatnot. And so the psychologist said to him, why don't you stop one thing that you're doing? And that is watching TV at night. And so he stopped watching the TV, and because of that, he had nothing else to do. So he started going to a gym and getting more active. And lo and behold, he stopped eating the garbage food and stopped feeling sick. So he was now plugging into the right things to move him forward. So we can be plugged into old thoughts that keep us stuck, plugged into old fears that keep us stuck, plugged into that hope that someone's going to save us. We've got to save ourselves, and that's when we're going to start meeting the right people to help us move forward. So what are we plugged into, and where do we want to be? And if what we're plugged into isn't where we want to be, and sometimes it's very daunting to try to say, oh, I want to be over there, and it seems like there's nothing but sharks and pitfalls and you know endless time but sometimes again you just take a little bit 
unplug from one unhealthy place and put it into a healthier place. You know, the old line, well, what would you do if tomorrow was the last day of life? Well, you know, that that's easy, right? But what if you knew you were going to live this same frustrated, struggling life for the next 20, 30, 40 years? Would you keep doing it? Or if you knew, man, if I just started unplugging from these negative people, negative spaces, negative thoughts that don't help me, don't help the world, feel bad in my heart, you unplug from that and you plug into things that do feel good. Well, I guarantee you're going to start waking up with a little more energy, feeling a little more prosperous, feeling a little more kind and generous. When I'm stressed out because I'm, you know, working too much in, in for the big corporation uh, or there's too much on my plate, I still getting, you know, and I'm not doing enough for me, watering that seed within, honoring it, shedding light on it, plugged into the things that don't really satisfy me or if they do but there's just, just too much on my plate start getting shorter and shorter with people less kind to them but also less kind to me so today is all about where we plugged into i try to write every day sometimes a few times a day and it might just be 20 minutes might be a half hour maybe i go outside and work out or i go into the basement and work out um, get some air, balance it out, because you don't have that balance, that darkness is going to consume you, those negatives are going to consume you. So you have to unplug as best you can and plug into the things that will serve you to move forward. And you have to be here and now with it, not where do I want to be in the future, that doesn't help you today. Okay, you want to have a $10 million and you want to win the lottery and you want four houses. Great, where are you today? Today is what you need to work on. And so if you're just feeling defeated, you need to sit with that and understand where that's coming from and eventually heal that, unplug from that and plug into, you know, I'd like to move forward. I'd like to raise my vibrations. I'd like to be around healthier people, smarter people, healthier people, wealthier people, whatever it might be. So, it's important for all of us to be in that right environment to thrive. And we might not have um, the choice right now to just say, well, I'm quitting this job and doing whatever. That's not a good answer because you or, or the relationship. You're going to have the same garbage in the next one because you haven't dealt with whatever you're plugged into deep inside you that's keeping you stuck in a stagnant pool. You want to be that flowing river. And energy can only flow when you release it. Just like a wound in the body, same as trapped energy in the, in, in, in the heart, in the body, it needs to move forward. You need to sit with it, unplug it from why it's trapped, and let it flow and plug it back into the main body or the main river and let it flow again. So we all have to do this with thoughts, with emotions, with external events should i go do that should i not go do that and all these things strangely each choice we make has an impact on the next one has an impact on how we react how we respond how we feel so i will leave you with what are you plugged into and what shouldn't you be plugged into what should you be plugged into that's going to move you forward that's going to heal whatever you need to heal, what's going to help you get to wherever you want to get to. It's going to help the people around you, help the world around you. Because that's ultimately, in my opinion, what we're all here to do is evolve, is expand, is heal, learn. And there's something deep within all of us that is burning to get out. And we have to keep peeling back the layers, healing, releasing this trapped energy, unplugging, and sitting with this stuff and saying, okay, this is where I'm at. I'm exactly where I should be right now because of all the choices I've made in my life. Is this where I want to be? Well, maybe not. But this is where you are because of the choices you have made. You got to sit with these things and understand it so you don't keep repeating it. God knows who the hell wants to just keep repeating the same, day, same damn stuff over and over again. Nobody. So if you're in a job, in a relationship, in whatever that you just feel stuck, stagnant, any of those things, you got to start really looking deep within. 
not just the thoughts externally, those thoughts internally. What am I plugged into emotionally? What is my belief plugged into here? What is my personality plugged into here? And what do I want it plugged into here? Sometimes I eat too much or I eat ice cream or eat pizza. I go, oh, why'd I do that? What, what did that accomplish? It's feeding some part in me. It used to be the drugs and the drinking. Now it's okay, let me eat something. What is that feeding that needs to be healed? Because I want to unplug that and put it into something much healthier, better exercise, you know, uh, stretching more, more fresh air. If not, we're going to keep suffering. Let's release the suffering. Embrace the love. Because there's trapped parts in our heart that need to heal. And to keep an open heart, we must sit and we must allow the heart to be open. That's it, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Just think about what you want to be plugged into. you got to start from where you're at, though. It's not going to work any other way. So unplug from what isn't working for you and plug into what is working for you. But be right here in this minute. Thanks very much for listening. Check out my books. I have a new one coming out, Gaia's Revenge, soon. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And you can go to my website, douglasrobbinsauthor.com, and sign up for the blog and <laughs> get a free story and get a little tidbits about what's happening. So thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.